What's going on everybody, Ghost Recon 2 here and welcome to a very special video. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 moments from The Last of Us single player. Now let's kick back, relax, and enjoy this top 5 countdown. So before I begin my countdown of my top 5 moments from The Last of Us single player, I should let you guys know that this video probably will contain spoilers, so if you haven't played through The Last of Us single player, I highly suggest you play it, or watch a let's play of it which is conveniently linked in the description below. Check it out! Five. For number five, I chose the Bill Town upside down shooting sequence slash moment. When you reach Bill's town, you must slowly make your way through to try and find Bill. Now just open it. Nothing else. Sure thing. But on the way, there are various booby traps located throughout the town, and it is Joel and Ellie's job to get through them by any means necessary. After you make your way through a few traps, you find yourself at a door that seems safe. Until... Oh, come on. I got you. Damn it, Bill. What just happened? Now, you're stuck upside down, swinging helplessly for your life as you rely on Ellie to cut the counterweight. This part of the game may seem a little easy just because of the fact that it has limited ammo, but I think it's a pretty cool sequence that drives in just how chaotic Bill's town actually is. This part ultimately leads you to meeting up with Bill, who helps you escape Bill's town and move on in the game. So thanks to Bill for the rescue, but now we're on to number four. four. And number four on the list is the suburbs shooting moment. Let's find a way around to it. After meeting two important members in Henry and Sam, Joel and Ellie escape the town of Pittsburgh and make their way through a sewer system and find themselves in a suburban type area. This area looks like it would have been a really nice place to grow up without monsters trying to eat you, and even invokes a few memories from the characters. I was just five when the cordyceps hit. My memory's pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. My parents, they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. After jumping down this ledge is where the action starts. Get out! <laughs> Fucking sniper. With a semi-decent aim sniper shooting at Joel, you must maneuver him through the streets until you eventually get to the sniper nest. After killing the sniper, the rest of the group is attacked from behind by bandits. So Joel now takes over the sniper gun to help aid them. After killing the bandits, there is a big horde of infected that come through the town, which makes the group have to leave. This sequence is very action-packed and very intense. Not only that, but it also leads to a very emotional moment in the game, which is why it made its way to number four. Henry, no! So, in honor of Henry and Sam, let's move on to number three. Three. Number three is the prologue of the game. The prologue, or beginning of the game, starts out with you being introduced to Joel and Sarah, who's Joel's daughter. In the wake of the crisis that will set the game up, we find out that it's Joel's birthday and get a quick insight on the father-daughter relationship that existed between them. After being woken up by a phone call, you take control of Sarah as she searches through the house for her father and they meet downstairs. There you are. Sarah. Jimmy, Jimmy I am warning you. Oh Don't. After killing his first infected, Sarah and Joel flee with Tommy. As they drive, we learn how bad the epidemic is becoming. Keep driving, hey, stop! Tommy. Stop! 
With some car trouble, the three head out on foot as the player takes control of Joel for the first time. And they follow Tommy down to a bar where they are split up. Get to the highway! Go! You got Sarah! I cannot run him! I will meet you there! Hurry! As Joel rushes Sarah to safety, they meet a guard who asks for orders on what to do with Sarah and Joel, which leads to one of the saddest moments in the game. Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody, we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Oh no. This moment really sets the tone for the entire game. It's an extremely emotional and intense part that really sets up some of the past doings of Joel. It really shows the player just how much chaos broke out in the world, and that is why it's number three. I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby. I know it hurts. Come on, baby. Please. I know, baby. I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. <laughs> With number three out of the way comes number Q. Wait, that's not a number. Two. At number two, we have the university injury moment. At this point in the game, the dynamic duo end up at the University of Eastern Colorado. On their way through the university, they encounter some strange things. Yes, those are monkeys, underdog. They finally reach the building that they were informed to be the Firefly Lab, and they make their way through the building. Yoo-hoo! Fireflies! Here for mankind over here. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. After coming across the tape recorder which informs them that the fireflies have moved, they come under attack by a hostile group and must fight their way out. As they fight their way out, one of the most surprising moments in the entire game happens. At this point in the game, there were really no words to describe the anxiety racing through my mind as a bleeding Joel with a hole slowly made his way through the building. With Ellie defending him, he makes his way out and leaves the player in such suspense. With this moment being so shocking, it quickly became one of my most memorable moments in the entire game. And that's why it's at number two. Joel? Joel? Joel, here. Oh, get up, get up, get up. You gotta tell me what to do. Come on, you gotta get up, Joel. So, if that moment was number two, then what could possibly be number one? One. The Lakeside. After leaving us with no answer on Joel's condition, the player, for the first time and only time, plays as Ellie. We come to Ellie hunting a deer through the woods with her bow as it leads us to meet two strangers. Who's there? Come out! Hello? We just want to talk. After making a deal to trade the deer for some medicine, Ellie and the stranger come under attack by a lot of infected. So they stick together and fight their way through. After killing all the infected, we learn that the stranger, whose name is David, is the leader of the bandits that Ellie and Joel killed at the university. Look for food. Only a few came back. He said that the others had been... Uh slaughtered by a crazy man 
And get this, he's a crazy man traveling with a little girl. You see, everything happens for a reason. Ellie then brings us to a house where we find that Joel is, in fact, still alive, but very weak. She gives Joel the medicine and falls asleep, only to wake up to bandits outside the house and having to flee on her horse, which ultimately leads to her being captured. How are you feeling? After being held prisoner for some time, Ellie learns that David and his men are cannibals and escapes after refusing to join them. But David eventually corners her in a burning restaurant which, in my opinion, was the hardest mission of the entire game and one of the most intense missions as well. How did you do it? <laughs> Meanwhile, Joel recovers from his fever at the house and sets out to find Ellie. Fighting through David's gang to the restaurant, he reaches Ellie as she kills David in self-defense, and then they leave. Ellie, we have no idea what I'm capable of. It's me! It's me! It's me! Look! Look! The lakeside, not just one single moment, but this whole section really made the game for me. Not only did it have action and suspense, and one of the toughest missions in the game, it also really shows the player just how close Ellie and Joel have become, and that they will fight as hard as they can to be there for each other. That huge development in characters is why the lakeside claims my number one spot. So with that said, my top 5 moments of The Last of Us single player is over. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, I hope you guys really enjoyed the game in general, and I hope you guys stick around to watch some of my other videos. In the description there is a link to a playlist of a Last of Us walkthrough by my good friend Underdog, in case you guys have not played or watched the game. If you guys have played the game, or watched anything on the game, please leave your top 5 moments in the comments section, I'd really love to read about them. This game has become one of my all-time favorites in my entire game playing career or history or whatever you want to call it. So I was really happy to make this top 5 for you guys. I thought it was a really cool idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy yourself tutus. Bye. Jesus. Clickers.